Hey everybody, um, giving an update on the coronavirus in Minnesota. Um, 54 confirmed cases, they've closed down bars and restaurants, uh, everything is takeout or delivery now. School is canceled for at least 10 days and the governor said that he was probably going to um, uh, lengthen that. I am currently on my way to the hospital to get tested for the coronavirus because I have all of the symptoms. I am also a chronic asthmatic so I'm at greater risk for this thing. I'm hoping it is just a respiratory cold that is going around but we're not a hundred percent sure. How do I get in here? So I'm getting here right now. So hold on one second. I have an appointment at 9.55 to get tested. For the COVID? Yep. Okay. Last name and year of birth? Martin in 1982. Okay. Martin, 82. Thanks. Hi. Okay. That's Ryan, R Y A N, Martin, M R T I N. Are you a healthcare worker? No. And what was the date of onset for your symptoms? Um, Friday I started feeling less than perfect and then Saturday I got a little bit worse and then uh, that's when my breathing started really bugging me. Okay. And I have I'm asthma. I'm going to go through some, some symptoms for you, okay? Okay. Fever? No, I don't have a fever. Cough? Yes. It's like an annoying dry cough. Chills? Yes. Headache? Um, I had a slight headache last night. I took some ibuprofen. Sore throat? Yes. Okay. Abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting? Um, I had diarrhea Saturday, but I think that was probably because something I ate because I haven't had an issue since. Okay. Any travel in the last 14 days? No. Have you had any exposure to a lab confirmed COVID-19 case? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So here's how it'll go over here. They're going to do three swabs, one in each nair and one at the back of your throat. Okay, the first so test fun. we do is influenza. So your primary doctor will call you at okay. home today to tell you if you're flu positive or negative. Okay. So you're to leave here in quarantine until you get those results. Yep. If they're positive, you know you have the flu and that's the deal, okay. right? If it's negative, you continue to quarantine until you get the COVID-19 results. All right, how long it's is It's a that? minimum of 72 hours because they're inundated with these labs and it takes a while to get results. Yeah, I'm sure. So you that's guys what are you're looking at. Okay. Just super swamped right now. So there's everywhere. really good information in here. If you have family, friends, whatever, you need to quarantine from them. Okay. Okay. And there's information, resources, symptoms to keep an eye for, and so forth. So once they're done swabbing you, you're free to go. Okay. And then go home and hang out. All right. Got it. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Definitely taking this thing. Seriously, um, I don't know how much of that you heard, but I do not have a fever, and a fever is not always present with this thing. I have all of the other symptoms, um, breathing issues, uh, everything, so... That's why I'm getting tested. I've, I've, we've had several cases here where I live 
and we've had what they're calling community cases that are being spread. Um, that's where somebody hasn't traveled and they have um, contracted this thing. So that means somebody who had it passed it on to them. And that's the problem with this whole disease or virus, whatever you want to call it. I'll put this like this so they don't realize I'm recording. Because some people might freak out. Yes. My name's Brianna. Hi. We're going to get those three swabs here, okay? One in each nose, one in your throat. Okay. So the first nose one tests for the influenza. Okay. okay. That you should hear back by the end of the day from your primary. Okay. okay. If that's negative, that's when they're testing for the COVID. Okay. okay. Right now, that's taking about three to four days to come back. Okay. So until you hear results, they ask that you self-quarantine. So pick one room and one bathroom in your house if I, you have other people with you. I live alone. Perfect. So. You got the whole place. Just make sure you yep. clean things well and you're washing your hands. Okay. Okay. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Exactly. Sorry, these are kind of unpleasant. Here. Let me take my glasses yep. off. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, you're good. <clears throat> that was fun. Yeah. Any questions from us <sighs> Um, they'll call me. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. <sighs> Holy sh snakies. <sighs> well, that is a very unpleasant experience. Um, I'm hoping this is just a cold because there is also a respiratory cold going around that has a lot of the same symptoms as the COVID-19 as they're calling it now. Um, oh my god that sucked. I'm not going to lie. Um, I understand why she had a full face mask with oxygen being filtered in. As soon as they crammed that giant Q-tip down my throat, I instantly gagged and coughed. And that's how this thing is spreading, is um, the sputum or whatever they call it, the little droplets that are coming out of people's mouths and throats and what have you from coughing. So, um, again, I don't know if you guys could hear her um, I'm under quarantine for up to the next four days if the flu, uh, test comes back negative. Um, so, yeah, not super excited about that, but it is what it is. I guess I can kind of keep giving updates or whatever. But, yeah, so, I, I waited and waited because, you know, this thing kind of started Fridays when I started kind of feeling a little bit icky, and then, um, Saturday was, was getting pretty bad, that's when my breathing started giving me issues, and this annoying cough really started popping up. And uh, whatnot, I, I thought, oh God, great, I got a cold. And then, you know, somebody, a friend of mine who was a, a nurse said, hey, you should get tested. I said, well, I don't have a fever. 
well, like I said earlier, you don't always have a fever. Um, going to be using this a lot. I can, you know, that's the weird thing, the feeling with the breathing. It's, it's, if somebody who has asthma, they, they know how an asthma attack feels. Um, this feels like a constant asthma attack. Um, eventually I'll start getting a little bit dizzy and lightheaded just from the lack of oxygen and I'll use my inhaler and it, it helps. Unfortunately, my nebulizer machine broke, so I have to get a new one ordered and the medication for it. Um, give me a second. Yeah, I know that's not how you're supposed to use these, but that's how I do it. Um, so, sorry, a little bit mushy brain since this has really taken off. But, so, if the flu, <coughs> if the flu comes back negative, I am quarantined for up to four days. Um, no visiting, any of that stuff. Um, I'm not supposed to leave. I'm fairly certain I've got enough food to last me this four days or so. But if it turns into 14 days or longer or whatever, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to get somebody to, I don't know, drop some food off on my porch or something. Um, I don't mean to laugh, but yeah, I did not take this thing seriously. I, I joked, I was one of the people on my personal Facebook page that was passing around the toilet paper memes and laughing at people's reactions and, and the overreaction of the government and that's the entire point of this quote-unquote overreaction is to get people or to to stop this thing it's to slow it down at least you know I'd, I'd rather that they overreact and this doesn't become a huge um, issue you know California is implementing a 24-hour curfew um, you know, some countries and everything else, and, and I, I, I'm not for sure, but I thought I heard something about the U.S. They're doing mandatory quarantine for everybody. Um, Italy has reportedly stopped caring for the elderly uh, because they're just so overwhelmed, and that right there is why our government is quote-unquote overreacting they're doing this to um, prevent from having to do that. You know, I mean, they could very well say, hey, you guys have 24 hours to get supplies, get your things in order, and stay in your houses until further notice. Uh, full on martial law. So, that being said, I'm, I'm glad they're doing the steps that they're doing. Um, I'm really hoping this is just some kind of a stupid cold. Um, because I don't want to continue to uh, do the quarantine thing. I, I have to work. I'm, I'm not making millions of dollars on YouTube where I can retire. Um, the good news is I've, I've got vacation time, and that's what I'm using right now to help substitute um, my income. Um, but yeah, this is just, I don't know, this is kind of scary. You know, not, not scary and like, oh my God, I'm going to die or anything like that. It's just the entire situation. This is how every, every apocalyptic movie begins. And, you know, this, this, I think we're just on the, the cusp of this thing. It, it's very possible it is going to get much, much worse. 
and die. You know, that's it, it could literally be 24 hour lockdown in the United States if we don't get this thing under control. They started a vaccine trial yesterday here in the States. Um, but, you know, that's still months, possibly year or years from being an actual thing. They're thinking this is going to be a seasonal pandem uh, pandemic or whatever you want to call it. Um, kind of like the flu. You know, there was 186,000 cases, I believe. And I want to say I heard on the news that 86,000 are, are over it, have recovered, or whatever you want to call it. The total world death toll is over 7,000. Um, I don't know the death numbers in the United States. Uh, we have not had any deaths in Minnesota yet. But... Uh, yeah, this, this thing is, is spreading like wildfire. And, you know, I went to Walmart uh, Sunday because I needed supplies. And uh, uh, the shelves were, were pretty bare for food um, because it was the same day that they decided to cancel school for the next 10 to 12 days. And, you know, so uh, I believe all the Walmarts and a lot of other stores have changed their operational hours so they can stay stocked up, which is good. That allows them to be stocked up, but I think the, the hoarders and, and, you know, just the general public are just going to flood them that much more. And, you know, I was... Uh, not to make too much of a joke about this, but I was actually shocked when I went to Walmart and all of the uh, cash registers were open. You know, I I was still taking this thing kind of as a joke and I made a, a joke about it. I made a meme to share with some friends and uh, it said, you know, something is going on when Walmart has every cash register open. <laughs> um, so I don't want to make too long of a drawn out video here I'm not looking for attention or sympathy or anything I'm just giving you guys the updates on what's going on with this thing um, if I hear results back today that I've got the flu which I don't think I do because I have no fever or anything like that um, I'll make a short update video and if I do get the results back that I actually have this thing I will do another video um, just to I don't know let you guys know what it's like or how I'm doing or, or just a live update or whatever you want to call it so everybody be careful wash your hands don't hang out in large groups um, you know, it's it's better to be safe than sorry. Just because you're young and healthy uh, doesn't mean somebody like me who has chronic asthma or the elderly or somebody that is immune comparable or somebody that has some kind of other lung disorder isn't going to get this thing from you and, and die. Um, you know, you might not even show symptoms you know, and, and you could still have it. So just wash your hands, distance yourself. Um, just practice good hygiene. It's, it's something you should be doing anyways. And do that, uh, I can't remember what they're calling it, that social distancing. Stay away from people. You know, be, uh, it's okay to be antisocial. We we have technology where you can FaceTime people and text people and call people. All of the phone companies have have 
turned all of their phone plans into unlimited data. Um, I don't even think they're throttling you if you go over your data cap. Um, you know, they're they're not charging you late fees, and, and companies like T-Mobile are, are going to help you if you get behind on your, your phone bill. They're not going to disconnect your services. Um, the electric company here in Minnesota, Electric and Gas, they, uh, uh, Xcel Energy, they said that they're not going to disconnect anybody for the next 60 days and that they will make payment plans with you guys in order to um, be able to uh, keep your services on even after that 60 day period. So, uh, another good thing is, you know, the elderly are very vulnerable to this thing and people that are immune comparable and, and people with lung diseases like asthma, etc. Um, so, uh, a few stores here in Minnesota at least, like I said, I don't know what's going on in your state, but they have uh, opened up uh, special hours for, the, for them those people to come in and shop so they have first dibs on, on fresh produce and groceries and, and don't have to worry about the large crowds It's uh, there's been some sad things going on with uh, how all that's happening but so that's my update um, I've, I've already made a 20 minute plus video here so um Godspeed to everybody. Uh, wash your hands. Stay away from people. And I'll continue to give updates. Thank you. This is Ryan with Ryan Outdoors.